If you're struggling to get the most out of your Fire Stick internet connection, by making just one change, you can take your speeds from this to this. Let's go and check out how. If you're looking for a new VPN service, why don't you check out the links in the description below this video. Clicking on these links can not only give you a great discount off of your next VPN subscription, but clicking through these links also helps to support my channel. With internet providers offering super fast speeds at a more affordable price, more and more of us are taking advantage of full fiber broadband. This can increase your internet speeds anywhere from 200 megabits per second to 1000 megabits per second and beyond. If you've got a fiber broadband package, you may be wondering how you can achieve super fast speeds on your Fire Stick. Your Fire Stick is connected to the internet in one of two ways, either wireless or wired. So let's start off with how you can improve your speed if you're connected wirelessly. Your Fire Stick can connect to your Wi-Fi's 2.4 or 5 GHz network. Typically, connecting to the 5 GHz network will give you faster speeds as there's less congestion, but your Fire Stick should be positioned as close to your router as possible to get the best results. My internet package is a gigabit, meaning that my internet speeds can reach up to 1000 megabits per second or one gigabit. When I connect my Fire TV Stick 4K Max to my 2.4 gigahertz network and run a speed test by downloading a simple speed test app from the Amazon App Store, you can see that the download speed is just over eight megabits per second, which isn't good enough if you want to stream in 4K. For example, streaming services such as Netflix recommend a bandwidth of 15 megabits per second to watch their videos in 4K. Now switching my Fire Stick Wi-Fi connection to the five gigahertz network and then rerunning a speed test gives me much better results and I can reach speeds of over 280 megabits per second. So if you've got a fiber broadband package, you're likely to have a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network. To seriously boost your Fire Stick speed, make sure that you have the 5 gigahertz range enabled on your router and connect to it. Go into your Fire Stick settings and click on network to check what networks are available. You should see your 5 gigahertz range. Select it and connect to it. Now changing that one setting on your Fire Stick will make such a big difference. It's usually more than adequate for streaming and if you have a good Wi-Fi signal, you're not very often going to be running into issues like buffering. But in an ideal world, a wired connection is much better. Not only for maximum stability and speed, but it also takes a device off of your Wi-Fi network, meaning that other Wi-Fi devices can access your internet more efficiently. Now, suppose you do have your Fire Stick wired to the internet. In that case, you're probably using the official Amazon Ethernet adapter, which connects to your Fire Stick like this and should give you the best and most consistent speeds. So based on that theory, using a wired connection should give me a better speed than when I was connected to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi network, which remember was over 280 megabits per second. However, these are the results when running a speed test using the Amazon Ethernet adapter. My download speed is now just over 94 megabits per second. That's much slower than my speeds when I was connected to Wi-Fi. So why is that? What most people don't realize is that the Amazon Ethernet adapter is capped to a maximum speed of 100 megabits per second. So even if you pay for a 200 or even a 500 megabits per second internet package, you'll never achieve anywhere near those speeds with this Ethernet adapter. 
But for most people, that's absolutely fine. You're unlikely to have any issues streaming or accessing the internet on your Fire Stick. Going back to what we discussed earlier, in 4K ultra high definition from Netflix, only requires 15 megabits per second. But if you do want to ramp up your wired connection to make it more comparable to the speeds you can achieve via Wi-Fi, you can. You may want to do this because you use your Fire Stick for more than just streaming from apps installed on your Fire Stick. You could be downloading to it or streaming high quality files from your media server, NAS or Plex. If you are doing this and your connection is not over 100 megabits per second, you could start to see frame drops if you're streaming ultra high definition files. If you do these things with your Fire Stick, as you're paying for a faster speed, you wanna make sure that you're getting the most of it, right? Well, if you dump Amazon's ethernet adapter, faster wired speeds are achievable with an inexpensive upgrade to a USB gigabit ethernet adapter like this one, which costs just under 10 pounds from Amazon. Connecting this adapter to my Fire Stick, my wired download speed has now tripled and rockets to over 330 megabits per second. But as you can see, this ethernet adapter has a USB connection and there's no USB port on the Fire Stick. So you do have to make a little further investment here if you want to achieve the maximum wired speeds possible on your Fire Stick. As well as the USB gigabit ethernet adapter, you'll also need one of these an OTG cable that you can plug the USB ethernet adapter into and connect the Fire Stick power supply to. Depending on where you get the OTG cable from and what brand you buy, you can pick them up for less than eight pounds, like this one I got from Amazon. In case you want to check out this epic Fire Stick speed change, I'll leave product links to the USB gigabit ethernet adapter and the OTG cable in the description and pinned comment below. This video has demonstrated how you can achieve much faster speeds on your Fire Stick with a few simple tweaks. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow.